Oh, here she is. Didn't take too long to set up. This is what I've done. I've used the six channel lemon diversity receiver. Mounted the NX3 Evo that side. There's a sat in there. I purchased an extra lemon sat diversity one which sits there so maximum signal there's some selector buttons there and when you're setting it up you can have different sort of uh, skill rates on those three and four on the end there they're two sets actually uh, the adjusters you're looking at there there's two dots on them they're set for 12 o'clock at zero if you move them clockwise you adjust the stability in one direction and you move anti clockwise it changes it on there you see multi which is a single wire going to uh, aileron and uh, rudder the elevator has got one on its own so it's a full elevator lead going to the elevator on this on the receiver uh, aileron right goes to the normal aileron and the aileron there there's a pair so there's uh, your two aileron channels going to there and basically that multi covers one of the ailerons as well so you've got that aileron and that aileron now flipping it over we'll just sit there on here you've got your basic your rudder now get the focus here and your elevator and your ailerons that's like take the stabiliser off You've got, you've got a servo issue there. Don't know why. I oh, need some more powerful servos there. That one's absolute rubbish. Anyway, it was working a minute ago. Probably battery's going flat actually. But anyway, on there, stabilized mode. that's a stabilised mode. Now, this is, you're not seeing anything, but I've mixed the gear channel, which I've designated and assigned that one for the gear channel but I've done a mix so with the knobs so if I turn that knob up there you've got you've got the maximum just like the DX8 and you've got your maximum throws on your ailerons whatever you set them to and then you can just tweak that or the auxiliary knob down mix it with anything wherever you want so while you're flying you can set that and there you go. And the stabilizer mode, the auto level, and the safety, self -level. that self level, the kind of elevator up, elevator down, it, the rudder activates that way, it does that way, and the same with the ailerons, we tip those up, and they go up as well. But we'll turn that fully up on the adjuster like that to get maximised auto level I've only got some more movement in these ailerons but you can see it's working so didn't take a lot of setting up uh, the indicators as you can see they're flashing away there get it propped up somewhere so you can see them uh, that's on they flash and blink quickly when you're doing auto level the stabilised mode and then when your stabilise is off you got there so you've still got some more sense to play with instructions are basic there's your positions for those switches that I've just mentioned there those four so you've got the T so they're all lettered for easy identification and then emergency signal it so you can a slow flash under so you can adjust the the emergency is actually the uh, auto level there we go we've got step two everything and then there's your features of it so it comes with one beginner two practice three promotion and four experts you've got four modes to select on this depends on what you want to do with it which i think is really good and there's your auxiliary five channel that i've got the mix on so you can adjust it from the knob uh, yeah I can't speak highly of this 
and there's some more reference to the letters there the T, the Y, if you want the your attitude lock in depends on whether you want to do 3D flight or just basic hovering and deltas and it's all the selections there you turn it over and there's your quick guide there on your setup and basically what you're looking for in your stability how to set the emergency mode up and it gives you your signal strength of 100 and the plane will fly level and up and up rapidly for about three seconds so there's all these like yeah really detailed and there's that uh, another calibration mode there and that uh, I haven't had to bother with that even though it's upside down basically you, you connect it up and it figures itself out practice mode beginner mode yeah anyway that's how I got on with that one so there we go so there we have the Lemon 6 channel in the NX3 Evo coming to a field near you